Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be something that I have not done for a while and that is a hygiene routine. So I actually just got finished in uh, working out downstairs. I went for a walk outside and it's like 70 so I definitely sweat a lot. It was like a walk slash run and then I came home and I did a full body hit workout. I just started using um, Sydney Cummings here on YouTube, her videos. I usually will do uh, Blogilates, Cassie's my favorite but I just started using Sydney Cummings workouts. But anyways, I did a workout and I'm super sweaty, but I wanted to show you guys really just like my everyday pamper routine. So this is where I wash my hair and I also exfoliate and shave, just like my regular average shower routine basically. And I'm gonna bring you into my new shower behind me. It's so amazing, honestly, it's like a dream come true but I just wanted to show you what I typically do. Usually for like these hygiene routines, I'll do like a theme, like a vanilla hygiene routine or like pumpkin hygiene routine for fall. But I figured for this one, we just like kick it old school and just do like what I'm actually using right now. Um, let me know down below if you want me to do like maybe one for spring. Like I don't quite do florals, but I could do like a, what would I do for spring? Let me know down below, maybe like an Easter shower routine? I don't know, let me know. But I could definitely do that, or maybe like a fruity shower routine. But for now, I'm just gonna show you what is in my shower, what I'm currently using, and how I go about doing my regular average hygiene routine, like what I actually do. Um, so if you guys don't know me, hi, my name is Victoria. I go by Vicky, and I do Project Use It Ups, which which means that I am constantly trying to use up products in my collection. So some of the stuff in my shower is not seasonal. It is like from winter, <laughs> from Christmas. And so if you see that, just ignore it. I do that because I'm trying to finish off stuff, but I swear I'm almost finished with all the stuff that's in my shower. Well, the shower gels. Um, so yeah, so it's not gonna be seasonal stuff, but it is stuff that I like and enjoy and I'm trying to currently finish uh, using. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's gonna be a little more chill and laid back. Uh, I'm gonna take you through my entire routine and let's just go ahead and start off with a shower tour and then we're gonna actually hop on into the shower. Okay, first off, here is new artwork for the bathroom. I know it's like super simple, but I got it at Ross and it's really cute. I just wanna show you guys. Okay. So here's the shower and I do actually have a light. So we're gonna turn the light on so you can see that. Um, but this is it from the outside high. I did just clean it, but it does have water spots. Also, Ryan just showered right before me, so. And then we keep our hamper right over here. So I will open it up, it is wet in there. So let me not step in there with socks on. But I love these shelves that I got from Amazon. These are so, so, so nice. And they, I think it was like a suction cup pad. Yeah, there it is in the back. And so it really holds all of my stuff. And then we have like a little shelf over here and that's Ryan's stuff. That's my significant other stuff. And then this is my stuff again. So he has his own little shelf, but I get kind of the rest of the space. Okay, I took my socks off so I could actually like walk in here and walk you through what's in here, but we have his and hers loofahs. I do enjoy using a loofah, so that's what I use. And this um, shower caddy came with quite a few hooks, so we used those. I have my uh, Flamingo razor. I get this at Target and it came with a little suction cup. This thing is amazing. If you have not already tried this, you definitely need to try it. Um, and then this is what's in the bottom drawer, or not drawer, the bottom shelf. I have Winter Candy Apple, which is almost used up, so I'm really just trying to finish it. Um, we have Ryan's Lush Dark Angels Body Scrub, um, my Mary Kay Clear Proof, Clear Proof Cleansing Gel, my Hibiscus Paradise Little Mini Shower Gel, also just trying to finish this up, and then my OGX Coconut and Coffee Body Wash, which I just keep in here because I love it, and then this is Ryan's Face Razor, um, also Ryan's Face Razor right here. We've got Sunrise Woods Creamy Body Scrub. I've got my EOS uh, Shea Butter Shave Cream. I love this stuff. I've got, what is this? Love Beauty and Planet Sulfate Free Shampoo Scrub. I bought this six times over. And I have a scalp massager from TJ Maxx, Pink Crazy. And I do like to keep a clip here because I'll clip my hair up while it is um, 
full of conditioner and just let it sit. And then over here, this is Ryan's OGX shampoo and conditioner, and he uses classic, oh, it's, it's gunky. He uses classic flannel. This smells amazing. If you guys didn't pick it up, I hope it comes out again next year because it was so yummy. And then we have Derma E conditioner, which I'm almost out of. And I have a Joico Moisture Recovery Shampoo. We've got Onyx Bathhouse Dim Bun Stove Foaming Body Scrub. I love this. And then an Ava NYC hair mask. Okay, so usually before I hop in the shower, I will take my makeup off, but I didn't wear any makeup today, so we're good on that. Um, I am gonna take my hair down and brush through it. I like to brush it before the shower, comb it in the shower, and then I don't brush it out of the shower. And I think that's everything like I do right before the shower. So let's go ahead and hop on in. And today I am lighting raspberries and whipped vanilla. I actually finished this candle off right after the shower, so that worked out really well. And of course, taking out the hair and we're just gonna give it a good brush through. I always find after I go on like walks outside, it is so naughty and it's just the worst to work with, but I am so thankful for this rainfall shower, you guys. It is honestly the best thing ever and it gets so, so, so steaming hot. Um, but we are starting off with my shampoo scrub and my little rubber scrubby that I use on my scalp. I love this scalp brush. I got it, I think, from TJ Maxx and it was pretty cheap, so I definitely recommend one of those. And then I'm using my hair mask and I'll usually brush through my hair with the hair mask in it and then clip it up for the rest of the shower just so that hair mask can kind of steep in my hair the rest of the shower. And we're going in with winter candy apple. Like I said, it is not seasonal, but I'm just trying to finish it up. Um, but it does suds up really well, and I honestly love the scent of it, so I don't mind that it's not seasonal. And now I'm going in and washing my face off, and I just like to do this for like a really long time. I've heard that it's better to wash your face for like a minute or longer, and so I'm really trying to do that lately. But going in with my body scrub, and like I said, I am going to shave tonight, so I'm going in with my really coarse body scrub, which is that one from uh, Onyx Bathhouse, and then my EOS shave cream in the Gentle Formula. This is my favorite shave cream, and then my favorite razor from Flamingo that I absolutely adore. I got this at Target, but now they sell it pretty much everywhere, so definitely recommend. And washed all that off, and we are headed out. First things first, I put my hair up in a microfiber towel and then I step back out and grab my real towel because it is super cold. Whew, that was quite a shower. Uh, I'm gonna put on some toner now. We've got the clear poof. Again, Mary Kay toner. And I've just been informed that dinner is ready. So in true realistic uh, hygiene routine, I'm gonna pause it here and go eat dinner, but. First, I'm gonna put on my um, Cosrx Snail Mucin Essence, um, and then I'll let this sit while I'm eating, and then I'll put on my retinol, because apparently you're supposed to like let this sit and soak into your pores for at least 15 minutes or 20 minutes, and then put on your retinol. So I'm gonna do that, and then I will come back to finish the night, or not night routine, the shower routine. I don't know if you saw dinner, but it was amazing. It was salmon and pesto pasta. Oh my God, you guys, Ryan is such a good cook. Anyways, um, I'm gonna put on the rest of my skincare routine, and I'm also gonna take my hair out of this towel now that it's air dried a little bit. I mean, not air dried, towel dried a little bit. Um, but I think I'm going to try to blow dry my hair because I have a work event tomorrow. Um, so we're gonna try and do that tonight. Okay, while the retinol dries, I'm gonna show you guys my little like self-care corner in the bedroom. So let's go ahead and hop on in there. Okay, so as you can see, this is my side of the bed. That's all my candles in there. But this is my little self-care cart, basically. The bottom is just like cords, extra cords and stuff. But here's all my hair stuff. 
deodorant, uh, hair ties, and bobby pins. And then I usually keep all of the lotions that I'm using down here. The first one I'm using is Merry Christmas Ice Cinnamon Rolls. I'm really just trying to finish this one up. It's just a mini, so it won't take me long. And then I am finishing up Christmas cookies in the body cream. And then the last one is whipped vanilla chiffon in the body lotion. I think for tonight, I'm gonna go with Merry Christmas Ice Cinnamon Rolls. Okay, I put on some cute Victoria's Secret PJs that I got for Christmas, and I am gonna go ahead and take my hair out of this. It's um, like a turby to us is what it's called, but they have these microfiber hair towels at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So next time you're there, you need to look for it, but that is now dirty. And I am gonna go in with my moisturizer. I just use CeraVe. I keep it in a mini bottle, but I also have like the big bottle over there. It just fits better on my skincare shelf. And whatever's left over, I like to put on my hands just to make sure my hands are staying moisturized and clean. And I am gonna go ahead and put on eye cream. This is from Lily Anna Naturals, the anti-aging moisturizer eye cream. Um, I definitely bought this because somebody on TikTok recommended it. So, and she was, I believe in her 40s or 50s and she was saying she's been using this like pretty much since she was 20 and she has barely any or no under eye wrinkles, bags, crow's feet, any of the sort. So I definitely purchased it because she said that. <laughs> and with any of the extra, I like to put on like my knuckles. She said she also did that um, and it really helped her hands not to age. So just a tip there. If you do have like a big size of um, eye cream, you can do that. And then I'm gonna go in with my Laneige sleeping mask. The girlies know. This is in grapefruit. I really like this scent, but I just got it from TJ Maxx because it was cheap. I would never pay full price for this. Typically I would put my glasses on, but because I'm gonna do my hair later, I'm not gonna take out my contacts just yet. Okay, for hair, since I am going to blow dry it, I'm gonna brush it. If I was not gonna blow dry my hair, um, and I was gonna leave it like curly like this. I would just let it air dry the rest of the night, but I am gonna straighten it. So we are gonna brush through it. And then I usually like to find my part. I know that the middle part is in nowadays, but like, honestly, I can't rock it cause I have this huge widow's peak. So I don't like how it looks on me, but if you rock a middle part, I see you and it is so cute. But my hair like usually naturally falls, see right here, and then it gives me like a nice little swoop. So this is where my hair typically falls and then like I'll go in with this like rat tail comb and just perfect that part. And then my ride or die scalp treatment for, I have eczema on my scalp, so if you guys suffer with this, you'll love this. It's a living proof, living proof scalp care dry scalp treatment. It's like a little, it has like a little stopper and you just put it directly on your scalp. I get it like right behind my ears mainly, which is where you'll see it on like little kids and then around the crown of my scalp. So I'll just put it in here. It's so good and honestly worth the, I think it's like 30 bucks, but it is so worth it. It has changed my scalp life. It is amazing. So I'll just rub that in. And then I'm gonna go in with the AG Hair Care Fast Food Leave-On Conditioner. I got this in a BoxyCharm like years ago. Honestly guys, I don't go through hair care very fast. So it took me a while to like actually get through a lot of the stuff that I had stacked up from like old BoxyCharms and Ipsy's and FabFitFun boxes, so. But I always put on a leave-in treatment and then I always also put on an oil. This is an, another really old oil, the Garnier Fructis. Frizzify. I don't actually like it, but I'm pretty much almost done. So I'm just going to finish it off. Uh, but I always, always, always put an oil on my hair, mainly at the tips. And then I'll bring whatever's left up the rest of the hair. And then I'm going to show you what I usually use for my um, like blow dried hair, but I'm not going to do it right now because my hair is still soaking wet. So I'm actually going to go watch a few episodes of like how I met your mother, I think with Ryan downstairs and come back up and do my hair. But this is the true beauty, like, I don't know what to call this, but rotating 
hair dryer brush thing. I love it. I've had it for years before the uh, Dyson one took off. There was this one and I got it at TJ Maxx for like $25. So I really love it. It's lasted me probably three or four years and it is amazing. So I will be using this a little bit later today. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this kind of everyday hygiene slash shower routine. And if you did like, comment and subscribe down below, let me know if you want some more of these and give me some ideas because I would like to do one for spring, but I don't really know exactly what I should do. So let me know if you have anything in mind, but yeah. That is everything for today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.